effortless. Get out of my way. Oh, come on, Julian. You don't want to leave yet. Don't you want to wait for my sister to dump you? After finding us together on the floor, just about to make love. You threatened to kill me, and you threatened to kill Eve. If I refuse to have sex with you, she will understand that. She will know I wasn't trying to satisfy some insane craving of yours. Who said I was satisfied? You go to hell, you must leave me. You would not believe the things that Julian just said to me while you were in the ER. Talk about hot. Yes, I told her to burn in hell. Men hate getting caught with their pants down. The catching you did. Your fiancé with me. Your sister. Elvis, you don't have to remind me about what I saw. You know, I told Julian that this would be the last straw. And you're right. When I saw you and Julian earlier, something inside me snapped. I am sick to death of you, Liz. I am sick and tired of you trying to lay waste to my life. But, Julian, I am so sorry that you think that I abandoned you when you were young. And I am sorry that your father molested you. I have tried to make up for it more times than I could count. But you are not interested in healing. You are a vengeful, hateful bitch. And I am not going to feel guilty about this anymore. And then precious, she was my orangutan nurse. She switched the teacups so that my evil daughter drugged herself and not Sheridan. <laughs> I think it's time to call you know who and scare the you know what out of her. I'm down with that. Would you excuse us, please? <laughs> he is too an alien. That's how they're able to keep on fixing his heart. I'm telling you, he's really the one in charge, not... Excuse me, excuse me. We would like to use the phone, too, please. Wait your turn, you stinking old... Ha I mean, ladies first. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it must be my new lavender-scented diaper. <laughs> Fox are back on track. But we know different, don't we, Dora? <laughs> what was the spell I cast? The fox to win at business and lose at love. Uh, coupled with the fact that Ivy is using Valerie to sideline Kay, whatever Kay does to hold on to Fox will be derailed. <laughs> Project is going to be dead in the water, and I'm going to look bad to Fox. Uh, and to Ivy. and rob you of your chance to be whole again. I'm not going to let her. I'm going to bring you back. Back to me, to little Ethan, and Jane. I'm going to live happily ever after. I promise. I don't know which is crazier. Or Teresa thinking that she can bring Ethan out of an irreversible coma out at the crane cabin until Ethan is miraculously cured. Sooner or later, someone's going to find them. When that happens, Teresa and I will be arrested for kidnapping. God, I just hope Fancy can forgive me. I broke her promise to be honest and upfront with each other about everything that affects us as a couple. Why 
did Noah lie to me? He said his new job had him driving around. What was his car doing parked at the hospital when he was supposedly working? And who was on the phone in the background when we spoke? If it's another woman, I'll kill him. Okay. Remember what Aunt Sheridan said? And don't overreact. I'll call him, get him to stop so he can talk. Phone. Battery's dead, and I don't have the car charger thingy. I'll just have to follow Noah and see where he's going. Maybe I don't need Fox. Maybe I can save the Singapore project on my own. And then I'll definitely be in as Fox's sister, and he will be out. Gentlemen, what additional figures do you need to close this deal? Okay, never let them see you sweat. I'll have those figures too soon. Damn it! I can't open the file those figures are in without the access code. And of course, Fox is the only one who has it. Oh, he's still not picking up his cell phone. Fox and Kay have to be at Tabitha's. I'll try the house again. Ah, oh, the line is still busy. And my suffering, it's all your fault. Yours and Julian's. No. No, Liz, because you could have gone to Mother for help, or to our minister, or to the police. But you didn't. You chose not to do that. You chose to do nothing except to blame me for something that I could not have possibly known was happening. Julian forced himself on me in Boston. Julian and I were far from perfect people back then, but we have tried to make amends. And haven't you spit on everything that we've suggested to do for you. Well, that's enough. Enough is enough. I am not taking your abuse anymore. No, will I. Your reign of terror is over. So why don't you just go back to with St. Lisa's or go to hell for all we care. Just go. I am not going anywhere. Julian, I'm not going to do oh, it. I... Isn't this wonderful? Mm -hmm. Of us here together. <clears throat> Gotta tell you, it's been quite a busy day. Sneaking you out of the hospital with Noah's help. Eluding the police on the way out of Harmony. All to try to keep one from killing you. She doesn't believe that you're going to get better, Ethan, but I do. I know you will. You are going to come back to me. I'm going to believe you. And our daughter. Huh. Looks like it could snow tonight. And wouldn't that be romantic? I forgot snowed in together. Hmm. And then when you come out of this, you could go outside. I don't know, we could take a sleigh ride together or build a snowman. We could make love in front of the fire. It's gonna be wonderful. You just wait and see. Ethan Winthrop, grandson of former Governor Harrison Winthrop, was kidnapped from Harmony Hospital earlier today. Sources tell WNGL Radio that the suspected kidnapper is none other than Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald Crane, Mr. Winthrop's former fiancé and the mother of his baby daughter, who shocked the world when she married billionaire Alistair Crane. An APB has been issued for Mrs. Crane and her unknown male accomplice. I hope Fancy doesn't figure out that I'm the one who helped Teresa kidnap Ethan before I have a chance to tell her myself. My promise. And neither one of us comes from parents who were able to stick it out through thick and thin. All the more reason that we should work to achieve what they couldn't accomplish. Maybe. 
Maybe if we resolve not to let anything from within or without break us up, we'll stand a better chance. Sounds good to me. Okay. It's a plan. Anything that helps keep you in my arms forever. <laughs> I did this to help Ethan. Not because I'm trying to side with Teresa against Gwen and Ethan's family. Oh, God. Come on, Ethan's my half-brother. And you were... <laughs> Fancy's too. She'll get it. She'll understand why I did it. At least I hope she will. When you told me last night I was the love of your life, I knew you truly meant it. Noah, you always told me if our relationship were to end, you'd never love anyone the way you love me. You swore if you ever met another girl, she'd just be someone to pass the time with, that she'd never mean what I mean to you. <laughs> Vows are solemn promises. You'd never love another girl the way you love me. Not another woman. Why would Noah lie to me about where he's been since Ethan was kidnapped? We promised each other not to keep secrets. I have to find out what Noah's hiding. <sighs> well, time for bed advising, Dora. Tonight, Mommy's going to tell you a story about the night that Timmy and I took Kay's cousin Charity Wookie. and dumped her on the railroad tracks. <laughs> oh, the Boston Express was minutes away. <laughs> oh, who in Hades could that be calling my cell phone now? Oh, I only keep it for evil emergencies. Oh, my devil. Supposing there's been an outbreak of goodness in harmony. Oh, we darksiders would have to mobilize immediately. <laughs> Hello? Oh, kill the witch, Tabby. Chop her into pieces. Oh, kill her, oh, kill her this year for sure. Norma, where are you? You're still locked up, I hope. For now. We're just calling to remind you we'll be slaying you very soon. I, I, is Edna still in there with you? <laughs> you bet your bippy, Jimmy Cat. And Norma's not the only one with an axe to grind. You know that black magic makeover that you gave me? <laughs> well, it wore off. Now I'm gray, droopy, and leaky all over again. Well, that's no reason to hook up with Dizzy Borden. Ah, uh, well, call me crazy, it's reason enough. <laughs> After all those years living with my very evil, psychotic daughter, believe me, Normie's looking almost sane. Oh, <laughs> thank you, dear. <laughs> so we're going to see you soon, because Normie wants to give you 40 wax. Then I think I'd like to be there to watch. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> no, wait, wait. I bet you Tabby wishes she was wearing a diaper right about now. <laughs> you know, Endora, that Thanksgiving call they made was no fluke. Norma and Edna Wallace have teamed up to take me out. And I don't mean to dinner. Uh-oh is right. They're serious about coming to kill me, you know. What is a witch to do? What is a witch to do? Stop it! Stop it! Julian is not your personal punching bag, and neither am I. I hate you. I hate you both. Yes, as we both suspected. We are sorry that you suffered at the hands of your father. And Julian. But we cannot go back and right past wrongs, no matter how much we may want to. And I would want to, Liz. So would I. Had we to do it over again, we would have given you the help you needed, not added to your pain. Oh, but you did. You both did, and you're both going to pay for Look, it. Look, enough is enough! 
We have tried countless times to help you, and you've refused every time. I used to think it was because you were too damaged to ever heal, but now I think it's because you... You like playing the spoiler. You get off on it. Disgusting son of a No, no, Truman is right. The abused has become the abuser. But you see, we're not going to take it anymore. Even I are in love with each other. And there's just not a damn thing that you can do about it. You need to move on and find someone, Liz. Find someone to love who can truly love you. It's too late. Antonio's dead. No. It's never too late for love. If you're not at least open to the possibility, my dear friend, you could very well end up bitter and alone. No. Julia. I'll be happy. I'll be happy because I've been able to keep you and Eve from ever having a moment's peace. All right. I gotta get Teresa enough food and supplies in case it snows, and then get back to Harmony. Tell Fancy what I've done. killed someone and stuffed them in his trunk. He was definitely by himself when he left the hospital parking lot. Why would he drive to a convenience store all the way up here if there are several in Harmony? Is it safer? Oh, God, it has to be another woman. Maybe it's the girl who wrote that love letter Noah carries around in his wallet. Don't overreact. Noah has me. Why would he want anyone else? Okay, so not another woman, why would he lie to me about where he was before? Something's up. I have to find out what it is. That was just, uh... Yeah. For me, too. I'm glad we did that. I missed you. I missed you too. This is nice. It is nice, isn't it? Peace and quiet. No interruptions. <laughs> so let's talk about you for a second. Huh. You still love me? More than ever. Yeah? Yeah. Then I'm glad to hear that. You know, I was afraid when I didn't go with you to the hospital to see Ethan that I touched a nerve. Well, you did. <laughs> Until you explained why you had to keep working. You know, I remember when, when Ethan was still the crane heir. He said he wanted to use crane to make a positive difference in people's lives, you know, so. Something that always stuck with me. So, you know, when I was faced with the decision of going to the hospital to watch my brother die or getting one step closer to making his dream come true. You did what you thought Ethan would want to do, too. Yeah. I couldn't do anything to help Ethan. The Singapore project's gonna affect thousands of people worldwide. I shouldn't have judged you. You did the right thing. I'm glad we're okay. We're better than okay. Oh, great. Fox still isn't answering his cell phone. And I still don't have the code to access the file the Hong Kong backers need for the Singapore deal. He said if they don't have it in a half an hour, the deal is dead. I'm going to have to go to Tapitas. Tell Fox what happened. I hope it's not too late. You know, Ethan, the sooner that you come out of this, the sooner that you get to see little Ethan and Jane. And I haven't quite figured this out yet, but when you do come out of this, I'm going to find a way to sneak them up here so they can live with us and then the summer i don't know we could go boating on the lake or we could take long walks in the woods and after we tuck the kids in bed at night we could make passionate love 
under the stars. We don't need the stars. Jeter? No, nobody binges on oatmeal. Three boxes of cereal. That's enough to last for weeks. If Noah was leaving Harmony, he would tell me, wouldn't he? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> wow, somebody's got quite an appetite. What's your secret, hon? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Excuse me? Parking a piece of eye candy like you eat all this stuff and still look so... Mm -hmm. Good. Unless, of course, you're feeding an army. No, no, just a woman that I gotta get back to. Oh, my gosh. It is another woman. I can't believe this is happening. Noah promised he'd never do anything to hurt me, and now I find out he's seeing another woman? do something like this. At least I don't think he would. Why else would he drive all the way out here to stock up on groceries unless he and his slut plan to hole up together in their love nest? Noah has some nerve playing me for a fool. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind, and then I'll kill him. Where is he? Oh, Noah's leaving. Excuse me, ma'am. That'll be two fifty for the magazine. What? That magazine that you're holding, it's two dollars and fifty cents, plus tax. Keep the change. Soaps are like life. You never know what will happen next. Shoot! I missed him. I'll have to follow Noah to find out who he's shacking up with. Oh my gosh, I do not believe this. I cannot believe that you're out of your coma. I owe it to you, you know. I don't know what I did. Teresa, you saved my life is what you did. I heard everything when I was comatose. I heard everybody. Gwen wanted to pull the plug, and I would have died. It hadn't been for you and Noah taking me out of that hospital and bringing me here. I, I begged her, Ethan. I, I begged her not to take you out that support, but she, you know, she had everyone convinced that it was for the best, and I just didn't want to let you die, you know? I, and, 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 I, and I legally, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop her. And you followed your heart is what you did. Yes. And that brought you back to me. I love you for helping me. I really do. You're not upset about the poison? <laughs> no, I know it was Alistair you wanted to kill. It wasn't me. I know that. It's just sad. You know, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I and, mean, you know, he kept, you know, forcing himself on me day and night. The things that... Teresa, it's just it. You were desperate. Yes, I was. And I just, I wanted him dead, you know. You don't have to explain it to me anymore. You know, what's crazy is this, uh... This coma was actually a good thing. I don't, I don't know how. Remember, I heard everything. I now know that Gwen is the selfish prima donna that she's always been. And she doesn't love me the way that we love each other. I want to be with you. I want to be with Jane. I want to be with little Ethan. But you know what? Right now, I just... I just want to make love to you. You'll both be sorry for what you've done to me. Aren't you as tired of saying that as we are of hearing it? We are sorry, Liz. That's all you'll ever let us be. But Julia and I are moving on with our lives, so I suggest that you move on with yours. That's right, Liz. Perhaps, come here. A fresh start away from Harmony would serve you best. Now, this is over. I want you to stay away from even me from now on. I mean it. Or you'll be sorry. Ooh. What's 
What's that, Daddy? Start planning early this year, Norma! You can't let Tabitha get away again! Oh, yes, Daddy. Your little buttercup won't let you down. <gasps> I know if my baby was a cuckoo. You, oh, Daddy, we've got to get organized. Taking Tabitha out has proven harder than I thought. Normally, I am against murder, but since Tabitha is a witch, oh. since she destroyed my home with oh. that tsunami, and since her spell to make me beautiful went bust, I don't care what you do to her. I can't do anything with her as long as we're stuck in here. So how are we getting out? I'll show you. <laughs> show my friend Edna what you got. Come on. Oh, hello. Hallelujah, Christmas is coming early. <laughs> See? Wow. Oh, the money's secret escape route. Ooh. I've been tattooing it on it for weeks. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo. laughs> now this is clever. <laughs> I'd like to play in this town for a long time. <laughs> But <clears throat> I think we better come up with a backup plan to bust this booby hatch, honey. I'll seduce one of the guards. Close your eyes, Buttercup. This won't be pretty. Yes, Daddy. Hey! Hey! I will have you know that I can be quite a temptress when I want to be. There is something about baggy stockings and the cold, hard steel of a walker that just drives men wild. (laughs) Oh, hell's bells. I can't believe it. Norma and Edna teaming up against me. I suppose that Norma's bloodlust is understandable. She thinks that Timmy and I killed a wretched father during our stay at a seedy motel. (laughs) We were on the run from Hecuba at the time. (sighs) But the fact is, her darling daddy was dead before we even arrived. (coughs) Yes! But Norma won't even accept that. And as for uh, Edna, well... She's got her knickers in a twist because that youthful makeover that we conjured up for her has gone kaput. I don't know. What am I going to do with those two loonies coming after me and Dora? What did you say? We could go away. You're a genius. Yes, yes. Well, we, we could go to we could go to Rome and visit some fiends of mine who live in the catacombs. And then and then we could sail on to Greece. I've been promising Medusa a case of extra strength supernatural air conditioner for ages. And then we could sail on to Egypt, land of Mummies and locusts. <laughs> and the cult of the dead. Oh, oh and Dora, and Dora, let's get packing right now, shall we? Huh? I'm going. Yes, go away. Sleeping lizards. Who could that be? Who could that be at this time of night? Right. Like I'm falling for that old disguise your voice routine. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Fox, it's urgent for huh. to speak to you. Sounds like Valerie. I wonder what's the matter. Uh, let me think. I'm with you and she isn't. Fox, are you in there? You know, she sounds pretty upset, so I'm gonna go let her in. Where are my pants? First she calls, then she comes over. Yeah, Valerie is definitely after Fox. Well, Val, you're gonna leave the same way you came. Alone. Let me in! I need to see Fox! Second thoughts, that doesn't sound like Edna or Norm, and is guised or not. Which begs the question.
question, who is it? Hello, is anyone home? Please, Valerie, what is all this ruckus? Is Fox here, I really need to see him. Yes, well, he's upstairs with Kay. I'll go and fetch him. I, I'm sorry, I can't wait. Valerie, what's up? Uh, Fox, there's big trouble with the Singapore deal. Ah, uh, yeah, I just bet there is. What? The principals in Hong Kong want additional figures in order to close, but I couldn't supply them because I don't have the code to unlock your files. If they don't get that information right away, the deal is off. Okay, uh, well, why'd you waste your time coming over here? You should've just called me. I did, but I got cut off, and after that, the line was busy. Busy? No way. Not busy. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, I must've knocked the phone off the hook when Katie and I were, uh... Oh, I can't believe I was so stupid. The lights. doesn't turn off because you can't breathe without your respirator. Oh if the power doesn't go back on soon, Ethan is gonna die. You're such an idiot! Oh. It wasn't an accident, Fox. Kay did it. That's not all she did, is it, Indora? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Valerie, you know, if, if the phone's off the hook, you really gotta call my cell phone. I did. It kept going straight to voicemail. My cell phone doesn't go to voicemail. I have it on all the time. It's always on. You know what? That doesn't matter. Just give me the code so I can access the file and get it to home. Where the hell's my cell phone? Just give me the code! Don't yell at me right now. My God, it's on silent. How the hell did I do that? Never mind that. Just give me the code so I can make the... Oh, my. What? What, 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 what? The deadline's passed. What? I'm sorry. If I could have gotten in touch with you sooner, I could have taken care of it. Damn it! Fox! Are you hurt? Who cares if I'm hurt? You know what this means? I just botched the whole thing! Fox, what happened wasn't your fault. Of course it's my fault! How is it not my fault, huh? Because you didn't do anything wrong! I did! We've done everything that we can do for Liz. And she scorns us at every turn. No, oh, that's it. It's time that we stood up to her and refused to engage her anymore. You're right. We'll stand up to Liz together. We'll never let her hurt us again. Julian and Eve are so naive. Keep me from hurting them. And hurt them I will. In the worst possible way. We're heading into the mountains. Noah's woman must be some slutty ski bunny. Just wait till I get my hands on the two of them. This is a WNGL news update. State police have joined the search for prominent Harmony attorney Ethan Winthrop. The comatose grandson of the former governor was kidnapped from Harmony Hospital earlier today by Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald Crane and a male accomplice. I hope whoever Teresa conned into helping her kidnap Ethan goes to prison for as long as she does. I hope Fancy can forgive me for helping Teresa kidnap Ethan. Wait. You know, we kept him from being taken off life support. Yeah. At least now Ethan won't die. <laughs> yeah. If the power doesn't get back on soon, Ethan is going to die. Oh, there's a backup generator. Okay. Okay, 
Right, Ethan's vital signs are exactly the way they were before the power went out, so that's good, that's good. Oh, God, thank God nothing horrible happened when you were on your own. Phew. Ethan, you're gonna be just fine, okay? We had a, a tiny scare there, but everything is just fine now. What is that? Okay, the respirator's working fine. Right? Yes. This is monitor. God, help me figure out what's wrong with this thing. God, help me, please. But I can't lose Ethan now. I can't. It's not bad enough that I'm losing Ethan. It looks like that I may lose Jessica all over again. I have to go. He didn't even kiss me goodbye. 